my name is Larry Crow. I'm Competitive Edge Gunworks. I'd like to take just a moment and share with you the most innovative accuracy enhancement to bolt action rifles in perhaps the last hundred years, possibly. A typical bolt action rifle is held in the stock with a screw in the front and the rear of the receiver. That is typically what we see on our hunting rifles, our tactical rifles, and our sniper rifles. Sandwiched between the barrel and the receiver is what we call a recoil lug. That is just basically a washer with a, with a lug on the bottom of it that sandwiches between the receiver and the barrel when the barrel is torqued in. There's two things that happen when a firearm is fired and they both basically happen simultaneously. But the first thing, the initial surge or when the, when the cartridge ignites, initially what happens, it starts to push the gun to the rear. Okay, with the purpose of the recoil lug and the action screwed into the stock, the barrel action is supposed to stay put in the stock under recoil. With high speed photography, what we've seen happen is that under recoil and in the initial firing, the action will actually buckle. It will actually bow just a little bit in this manner here, the initial surge of the recoil. Plus, we have a barrel screwed onto the end of the action with a fair amount of length that adds like a tuning fork effect to it, which helps in the surge of the action moving to the rear. Okay, then the second thing that happens is as a projectile leaves the cartridge and engages into the rifling, it also compounds this tuning fork effect in the barrel as it's going out the end of the barrel. So one of the problems that we have in shooting accurately at long ranges is simply what we call vertical stringing. That's when you shoot and your groups tend to string up like this. Typically what causes that is either a bedding issue, something of that nature. So for a number of years, factories, custom gunsmiths have experimented with glass bedding, pillar bedding, all different ways to try to keep the action in the stock the same every time. Even though there's movement in it, we want to minimize it and keep it where it's the same every time but there's still an issue with vertical stringing. So what I did to solve this problem is I invented and patented what we call a floated action. The action and the barrel float in the stock. So what this basically means is that the action is secured with two mounting screws in the front, sets down into the stock, and underneath of the action is clearanced or free floated like we used to free float barrels in the old days, the action is actually free floated in the stock, which allows the barrel action under recoil to move as an assembly. So in essence, what I've done is I've took, and if we had a barrel action, I basically grabbed it in this manner here, and when it fires, it lets the stress of the whole unit as an assembly stress back and come back down and it stays the same every shot. It eliminated the vertical stringing. So this is, and the barrel lug on a typical action, I showed you the barrel lug, our lug is all integral. So to change barrels in this receiver, we just can grab a barrel wrench on it with it in the, in the stock, the scope and everything on it, break the barrel loose, unscrew it, screw another one in, and that quick, click our scope, click, click back to zero, and we can change calibers out in the field without inducing any stress that a normal action would have with this washer assembly in there. So it's made for a very accurate <coughs> rifle platform, uh, very simple, and works really well. Another thing that all of our actions have, and we also have them available for Remington replacements as well, typically in the industry, most everybody has a two-piece bolt where the bolt handle is either bolted or silver soldered or welded onto the bolt. Uh, these typically can break under severe use in the hunting field, so as a tactical application, that's really bad news. So all of our bolts are set up with one-piece bolts. The bolt and the handle and all is all one piece. There's no way that this can shear off, uh, fall off, anything of the sort. The other thing that we've done, and at the end of this production, we will show you a close-up. All of our bolts have an M16 extractor. That's a pivoted extractor, just like goes in a machine gun, 
under the right lug. So what that means is a lot of the aftermarket gunsmiths have put what they call Seiko extractors in and that's an extractor that will come in on top of the lug. When you go to extract the round, it tends to throw the round up at an angle into the scope and periodically the round can fall back down and jam up the action. Ours has a true 3 o'clock extraction. When you open the bolt, the, the rim the, or the cartridge is held right here at 3 o'clock. As it comes back, the ejector throws it straight out the port. So it eliminates the, the possibility of, of a fired cartridge falling back into a chamber. Here's one of the rifles completed. This is one of our tactical applications. You can see that the rear of the action is floated. There's clearance around that we spoke about. You can see that the barrel, how it fits in to the receiver. The barrel screws in, is threaded back on the rear portion. If we were to change calibers out in the field, we can pop this barrel loose, take it out, put another barrel in, and we're good to go. Another advantage with the competitive edge action that we're machining in-house, we're maintaining a 1,000th datum line. In other words, we can change, uh, for instance, in a long action, we can run a 308, we can run a 300 wind mag and a 338 Lapua. Three different bolt faces, three different bolts, and they're all within 1,000. So that means they're interchangeable. And that's a real plus for the snipers. It's a real plus for uh, the, the sportsmen as well. Uh, one of the things that we're producing at Competitive Edge, our actions will be produced from 223 up through and including 50 BMG. Uh, all floated. We're making them out of stainless, uh, titanium, and chromoly. We have 20 and 30 MOA rails and several different options available. Right bolt, left port, uh, we are a custom shop. All, of, all the actions, bolts and all are made right here on our machinery in-house. Uh, if you're interested in what we have, uh, check out our website competitiveedgegunworks.com and we'll be happy to explain more about this to you. Thanks, good shooting, take care. That went very good.